Welcome back to Ocarina of Time. Um, so we just beat the Forest Temple and I'm back. Um, I decided to come here first for one little brief interlude. Um, so I guess uh, I didn't explain when you become Adult Link for the first time, you can't put the Master Sword back in because Sheik is blocking the way and she's there the whole time. He... I should say. Spoilers. <laughs> Although if you don't know, like, what's wrong with you? And even through time. So, I decided to come back here because I want to learn a song that brings me back to the Temple of Time. And I'm gonna need it. Because I'm gonna be doing some, uh, traveling here in a second and there's gonna be a lot of it. So she's, she, he... Sheehy. <laughs> the Sheehy's gonna teach me another song, The Prelude of Light. Um, and I already forgot how this game controls. <laughs> God damn it. So let's do this. Aw, oh, damn it. Stupid C stick. It's that fucking. X to the Y to the G to the E to the L to the I to the N to the K. <laughs> God damn it. It's too early in the morning. I'm not even awake yet. <sighs> I feel like I'm like the opposite of the opposite Let's Player. People like Let's Players will like play into the wee hours of the night, but unfortunately, because I have to work every, almost every day, <laughs> I do the opposite. I do it on like the morning that I have off. Oh, that was a bright shining light. Well, um, that's all we really needed to do here. Um, I don't have to be a little link yet. Um, but I'm gonna cut straight to where I need to be next, and that's, um, the entrance of the fire temple for the Goron village. So we'll see you there in a little bit. Brief little interlude because I wanted to get this for you guys. Awesome! Now I can carry more arrows. And uh, let's see if we have enough Skultulas now. I should. I, I've been collecting quite a few. Yep. Now he gives me something that's kind of incredibly outdated. Because I don't have a rumble pack anymore. Nearby secrets. Ah, uh, I don't have enough to get the wallet. All right, we'll see you in the Goron City. All right, so welcome to the Goron City. So, if you remember, a couple episodes ago, I um, stopped a little Goron and got the fire tunic, and uh, he opened the gateway to this. And told me that the fire temple is right behind this little statue here. So if we just move it out of the way, we can sneak in. And we've never been here before. Death Mountain Crater. Now, normally you can survive in temperatures like this, but we have the Goron Tunic. So all's well. Uh, we're gonna warp across here with the hookshot, and then we're gonna meet a familiar face that we just saw at the beginning of this episode. And we're gonna play my favorite song of the whole game. Oh. By the way, I really love this. I love this quote. The whole thing about friendship being like something that grows over time, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's the bowler off fire. Oh, it's quite intense. Okay, now this one is might be a little tricky. Doo -doo -doo. Hold on. Awesome. Okay, first try. Plus, I like the the camera just switching it up and moving and. So 
Sorry, I love it too much. I think it's the longest song too. It's the only one that goes like all the way across. Plays all eight. But wait, I want to know more. I like that he's confused that fire just appeared when we're on a freaking wooden bridge over lava. Seriously. Okay, so there's one reason why I wanted to get the Prelude of Light. So, uh, let me see if I can remember how to play it. There we go. Okay, I'm an idiot. It's been a while, I mean, before I used to have, like, all of them memorized, so we have to go back to the Temple of Time. I gotta turn into a little kid for just a minute or two. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else that I can accomplish. I don't think so. This might be another short episode to lead into off into the fire temple. Just because I can't think of anything else that I can really do. Hmm. How many? So, oh, I did. I do remember that I checked off on the seeds. Um, okay, hold on. God damn it, I can't remember anything. I did check off on the seeds, and um, I have enough seeds to get at least the heart pieces. Uh, the only other one that can be used is to get a Skultula. But anyway, we want to come here and plant one of these here. And as you can obviously see, Fire Temple is blockaded from us, so we can't really go check it out. Um, so. Hold on. Set that up for when I'm going to be a kid again, because I will be a kid. Oh, I'm an idiot. I, I'm sorry, I just want to listen to this song one more time. Uh, is it still going? Awesome. God damn it. There we go. Fuck my life. That's really funny because I like I know how I know the tunes like front and back, so I can obviously like listen to it and go like, oh yeah, it's going to do this and this and this. And Alright, let's go back to being a, a big old man boy. <laughs> like all of us gamers at heart, we're just big old men boys. Without a care in the world. Um, there is one thing I realize I do want to check. And we'll check that out once we get back over there. Again, I'm trying to fill in time, so... <laughs> it's like, when you're going from temple to temple, there's really not a whole lot of, like, filler. Um, except for the water temple. Because you have to go get the, the iron boots. So this little nifty beanstalk takes us up here to get a heart piece. Awesome, and I'm at 10. As you can obviously see, there's one over there, which you can get by climbing down that thing. And the beauty is... I think this thing actually takes you up there if you if you so choose. So we're gonna get that one really fast as well. And I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Let's let's be ginger about this. Oh yes! Excellent. Uh, 
And fuck it. Hopefully it'll take me back over. Yes. All right. Um, there's nothing up there, at least for now. We will be going up there periodically over the next couple of uh, quests. All right. So yeah, you see this. This goes to the Goron City. And the only thing I want to check is over here. This is another route that you can take. These rocks are in the way of this little ominous cavern. I just can't remember if they can be blown up with bombs. They cannot. But that's fine, because we have to beat the fire temple to get in there anyway. Hmm. Well, I guess that's all I can really do for now. It's, we're, we're at 10 hearts now, and that's really impressive for, at least for me, for this early in the game. Usually, like I said, I don't go collecting everything until near the end of the game. But in that little cavern is the fire temple. So, next time, on the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're going to venture through the hot, hot depths of the fire temple. Let's see what we can accomplish here. It'll be another long episode, of course, but it's definitely one of my favorites. And I'm going to tell you some really cool trivia. So, see you guys next time. Peace out.